Welcome back, guys. Today I'm doing a quick installation on the Eoshin Wizard HV Success with the um, Caddx Retail. This is the previous camera which is on it, so anyone who's following this with the Eoshin Wizard HV, this is the, um, I believe, the Foxy or Monster Mini. And we're going to be replacing it with the uh, Caddx Retail. This is a definite upgrade. So if you're doing this, it's a good camera. Uh. Okay. My brother just fell off. So if you guys at home have the uh, Caddx Retail, all you're actually going to need is the camera in this metal bracket that comes with it. You're not going to need all the... Um, cords and screws that come with it and the reason for this is because if you have the HV you're gonna get this bracket from the previous camera and with these two things you'll be able to mount this micro camera onto um, the wizard which should be um, holding a mini camera so if you don't have the Ishian Wizard, you're going to need an adapter, a 3D printed one, or there's some you can buy. I'll put one in the link below. But just so you know, if you're getting this camera, you're going to need some adapter depending on the quad you're using. So what we're going to do to start off is you're just going to simply put the camera bracket in the right place, just like you'd be nor normally mounting it. Do not want to actually screw that on because what we're going to have to do is we're going to double up the... Uh, Fox ear bracket onto this um, bracket. That will give us the right amount of space in between the camera so that it can fit um, in here on the wizard. I just screwed in the uh, camera and what I ended up doing is I put that mount a little bit forward just so that it's kind of out of the way. Maybe even it will give a little protection. But I just screwed it in on the side and now before we mount it on the wizard, what you're gonna do is there is this cable that um, attached the, fo the previous Foxier camera. And if, uh, if you look closely, you'll notice that the connector right here on the Foxier camera is bigger than these connectors. That's, uh, three, that's only three prong, and this is like five. So what I did is you can actually just cut it to three prongs and I'll show you in a second, it will just fit right in. So now I have the camera set up. As you can see, the cord fits in the uh, video port uh, perfectly in the Retel. And you're just gonna screw it in the side. This is pretty much the mounting process and installation for any drone, so should work. Just remember that you're going to need a 3D mount to fit it in your uh, 3D printed mount to fit it in your drone, or there is uh, ones that you can buy. So that's pretty much it, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh.